Well, as you can see, there goes a leopard slinking off. We're going to try and keep up. Now, we had a really good view of him, but unfortunately, with Mara, it back to us. So it looks like Kojima. I'm not 100% sure. The guys say it is him, but we're just trying to get into a situation where we can see him, and we're trying to keep our distance a little bit because he's obviously not the most relaxed leopard i'm wondering though if it's not that new male that could be potentially here as well so just trying to sneak through the male lions of Ow, that hurt branch just <laughs> now a little bit of breakup i apologize it might get worse it might not but this is exciting stuff it could be my first time to see this leopard so i've never seen gajima or this new male i've seen but i don't know whether it's him or gajima but there he is there he is look straight through there there we go there we go look at that he's going across so i'm not sure who it is so those guys that can do spot patterns on bums and those kind of things maybe you can help us out he is just slowly moving off i'm going to try and see if i can get to where he is He's a little bit on the nervous side, so we need to keep our distance just a bit. He's not kind of running, which is great news, but he's not exactly kind of that happy where around. Now let's so if we can just try and get ourselves into a better spot here. Can you see anything there, Ferg? two o'clock okay so he's still going this direction just trying to kind of skirt around him a little bit but this is so exciting how's this lions buffalo leopard it's all happening at this stage and he's kind of going southwards a little bit where it's going to open up a bit so that's good for us because the less we can crash around the better there he is there you can just see him through there Ferg. there we go so he's got his face facing us at the moment oh he's just gone around so now we're going to try and just get through here and see he's not exactly that happy that there's this many vehicles I don't think so there's three of us and we might have to go into a situation where we go down to maybe two but he is just moving straight through here so if I just stop somewhere close by in front we should get a good view of him coming out onto the road he's actually on the road I think yes there's the road there so let's just see maybe we get lucky and we can spot him on the road itself um Ferg can you see him So let's try and see here. I can't see where he's gone. Now he's disappeared on me. He's just lying down straight in front over the top. So there we go. It's not a great view just yet, but maybe if we just sit still for a bit, he might kind of come out a little bit. I don't know if we can ID him from that. It's obviously a difficult view, but very cool to see. Unfortunately, he's just moving off a little bit, but he is coming towards the road. So if we're patient, maybe he's just going to pop across and we'll be able to get a better view. I think he is a whichever leopard a very skittish leopard can you still see him there Ferg let's try and just kind of negotiate he's going across the road now which is good news so he's going up and around and he seems as though he's more kind of concerned with a another sort of animal than us so let's just try and sneak in Matt, you're wondering how far we are from the lines. Not far at all. I would say we're about 200 meters from the lines. Here he is. He's just going to come out into a nice open clearing, which is great news for us. So I want to just prep and turn off here so we can get a really good view of whichever leopard this is. Now he's, oh, he's turned around and he's going back into the thicket. He really is being difficult. Now this is how sort of leopards can be sometimes when they are a little bit more on the wild side. And so you do sometimes get this situation. I thought he was gonna come out for us because it was nice and open here and I thought we were gonna get a really cool kind of look at him, but he's decided to go back towards where the lions are. So you can see him just moving through the thicket there. He's going the opposite direction and it's probably due to the fact that there's more than, well, there's too many vehicles that are for his comfort it seems like he's a one vehicle leopard not a two vehicle leopard so when we talk about that what we mean is that 
some leopards are comfortable with one car and they kind of will handle it. Some leopards are not really comfortable when you get more than one car. So there's going to be a car that's going to pass through fairly shortly. There we go. So I think Rex is going to leave us to it and go back towards the lions. Now I'm going to try and see if we get some sort of a view. I think if we just patient here, we'll be lucky and we might get a better sort of face shot of this individual and then we can work out who it is. But how exciting? It's definitely not a leopard that I know, so it's, it's a new leopard for me in terms of the length of the sighting. Whether or not it is a new leopard I'm, remains to be seen. I just need to find out from Rex how he's going there. Rex, is he still mobile? So Rex says he is coming this way. If I just stand by where I am, I should be able to see him. So let's just stop here and we'll maybe get lucky. Okay, let's see now. He says that it's just here on our right-hand side. It's nice and kind of open-ish here, so maybe we'll be lucky. Now he's waving me to come that side, but I don't want to go in too much of a rush because I want a situation where we can at least still see him. Now these are important things to do because so these kind of things are not bad things because even though this leopard is a bit unrelaxed, having lions and a kill nearby and the vehicles around means that he starts to get a little bit more kind of, you know, he can't really go as far as he wants to go and so he ends up being around the cars and actually gets used to the cars somewhat. I know it sounds weird and it sounds like it's not the right thing but he actually is getting kind of more exposure to the cars because of the lions that are around. Now apparently he's going towards the road so if we just sit here and sit tight on the road itself maybe he's going to cross in front of us. Let's see. I don't know where he's gone but I hear Rex coming out so apparently he's somewhere in this vicinity still coming our way which is good news so there he is there he is there he is he's, there he is he's just trotting across the road so we're going to try and just catch up with him a little bit he's kind of gone over the road and he's just trotting a little bit so he's kind of moving away from where we are let's try and just get a little bit further forward and see if we can get a view of him there he goes so he's just moving away from us you can just see him going through the bush sorry Ferg I know there's a lot happening but that is a leopard that doesn't really want us to be around Anna Marie you say it's always fun because we always find the cats well I mean it's just luck today at the end of the day we got lucky we managed to kind of come into a spot and the lions found a leopard for us and you know we kind of just drew a good card and, and sometimes luck is on your side I've had a week where not everything has gone according to plan and so you know it's good when things do start go falling into place and you get epic sightings like this so I'm just trying to get around there he goes. Kyle, you say it looks like a Jima. Well, he's just here in front and he is living up to his name. For those of you that don't know what Kajima means, it means to run, basically. And so he is running from us all the time and he's kind of going through this little thicket here. So what I want to try and do is just get in here and just try and see. The last time I saw him was just moving through this little thicker area he's kind of you just see him just sort of ghosting through now he's just in front of me here I know it's difficult and I know it's a lot of me talking and a lot of driving and very little spots but he just ran here I just saw him running in this direction so he's gone into this thicket I think we're probably gonna have to leave him at some point because spot him in here is going to be very difficult and that's why he's gone in here he knows that it's much denser and much thicker there he is he's in front of us so we've still got view of him and it's just us now so hopefully he is going to start relaxing a little bit Mac and Risa, you 
you're wondering if Kojima has ever been seen on Drive before. So yes, Brent has seen him before. I'm not sure about Scott and I think Jamie might have seen him before as well. So, but Brent mostly. Um, that's the one. You know, Brent spent a lot of time with him. Found him on a kill once and, and really tried to relax him a little bit. So Brent is the one that's you know sees him and 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 really likes this leopard. So Brent is going to be very happy that this leopard has been seen. He absolutely loves Kojima. Now I'm just trying to work out where he went. The last time I saw him was just trotting here in front. Ferg, you see anything? Straight ahead, huh? There he is. He's just straight ahead of us. He's quite far in the distance. There he is. You've got him. There you go, Ferg. Just in that little bush over there. So it's, don't worry, don't worry, we'll try and catch up a little bit with him. He's just straight in front of us, so he's just ambling now. If we keep our distance, oh, and we've got a big branch stuck now, which is not ideal. Let's try and get rid of that. There he is, he's just in front. We're going to try and see if I can just get one more view of him. I don't really want to kind of stress him out too much, but it'll be nice to just see his face a little bit. Emma, you're asking if it makes me nervous that this leopard is so skittish. No, not at all. His his primary goal is to get away from me and to try and sort of lose the vehicles. And the reason why he's doing that is because he's a shy animal and he hasn't had exposure to the cars from a young age. And that's why he's a little bit sort of nervous and a bit shy and doesn't really like to be followed that much. The thing is, though, is that you won't believe it, but Tingana, this is how Tingana started. The first, I would say, four or five times I saw Tingana, this is exactly the same behavior that I witnessed from him. This is how he moved around, which you guys wouldn't believe if you look at Tingana now and the way he just sits and stares at us. And the reason why Tingana became more relaxed is because we did this, is because we sort of distanced, followed him, followed him, tried to kind of keep him in our sights as much as possible, tried to sort of work out where he's comfortable and then as he mated with females as he had kills spent more and more time and eventually he became this relaxed individual that you see today so there is hope for this leopard and, and it doesn't make me nervous it's now just an exciting kind of prospect that we can maybe try and habituate another leopard in this area so James you say you don't think it's Kojima Maybe it's this new male that's, that's been moving around. It would make sense if it is. Like I, I was saying just now, I, I'm just going on what the guys told me on the radio. I, I mean, I don't know Gajima at all. And this new male, we've seen so little of him that it's, it's difficult to say, you know, what he looks like. And especially from the glimpses we're getting as we're going along here. So it could be that new male for sure. And it could be a situation where he is around wouldn't surprise me in the slightest that it is that new male so it's either way interesting right now I'm gonna try and find him again in this I don't know if we're going to it might be a tough one but let's try and while we do that let's go to Scotty and see what he's got and what he's been up to over the last little bit